お前らかかってこい何行くぞさあこれで文句はないな。2016 saw the release of the last chapter in Kazuma Kiryu's story with Yakuza 6. Before the series moves on, he gets one more time to shine in Yakuza Kiwami 2, a remake of Yakuza 2, which happens to be my favorite. In the same way that Kiwami 1 was kind of a reworking of Yakuza 0, Kiwami 2 is built on top of Yakuza 6. However, as Yakuza 6 was the first to use the new Dragon Engine, Kiwami 2 has the opportunity and takes it to improve on it. The fighting, for instance, is noticeably faster, which was an improvement with the original as well, and you can also upgrade it further later. Because it is a remake, keeping Kamurocho Hills and the Champion District locked off was not a possibility, and they are back here. Sotenbori Osaka is too, of course, although it doesn't have the Triangle Park anymore as introduced in the second PSP game and later in Yakuza 5. Kiwami 2 is not without its cuts, though. Shinseisho, where Kiryu and Sayama went to investigate her past, is removed. However, the main scene taking place there is still in the game, it's just moved to Sotenbori now. In terms of story, it's obviously the same as the original. With the same impressive level of adherence to the source material, everything looks and sounds pretty much like it should, although they replaced some voice actors, <laughs> like Sayama. Takashima got a new actor entirely, changing from young to old. Personally, I prefer the young version, as his age just made it seem more impressive somehow that he managed to do what he did. Kurahashi also got a new actor, who is fine, but he looks a bit too... nice somehow. His voice in the original was kind of over the top, so this is a good change, really, but I still kind of miss the original. One change that I'm completely on board with, however, is Kawara. On PS2, they couldn't get his likeness right, so they created another face for him. But here he looks exactly like his real life counterpart, and he looks a lot better. I couldn't help but notice some subtle changes and quirks, like how in the beginning scene, Kazama has a grey suit instead of black, and a regular Beretta looking gun instead of a Luger. Then the Jingwon boss speaks redubbed lines, only to right after speaking original Yakuza 2 recordings to Kawara. <laughs> And in the awesome camera move up to Kashiwagi's office, they remove the sound of him blowing the smoke for some reason. <sighs> Yakuza Kiwami 2 adds three new chapters that unlocks as you play the main game, starring Majima. These are a bit of a disappointment though, being very quick. So quick that they had to resort to making all the street fights mandatory. You can't run around them. These chapters explain why Majima left the Tojo after Yakuza 1, but it kind of contradicts what Majima himself said to Kiryu about this in the main story. In the end, it's a nice bonus, but not very substantial at all. And it might as well have been just one long cutscene as far as I'm concerned. Also Majima related is Kiwami 2's version of the clan creator from Yakuza 6, Majima Construction, which takes the same concept of strategy style battles, but now adds more control where you can actually select individual units and move them around, making this minigame more enjoyable than it was before. But it's still not that great in my opinion. It is fun though how characters from sub stories join the company to help out. Again, like in 6, the villains of this are based on real life Japanese wrestlers. Wisely, instead of redoing the boring managing the Marietta minigame from Yakuza 2, the developers more or less copy pasted the hostess management from Yakuza 0, which was fun, and it's fun here too. It's also nice to see Yuki all grown up now, although she doesn't look older almost at all. Glasses aren't enough. There are two more medium sized additions Bouncer missions, which are kind of like arcade style long battles, which are my favorite part of any Yakuza game gameplay wise, but you can't use your healing items here unfortunately. The other addition is what replaces the live chatting from Yakuza 6, and it's a photo studio. You look at sexy FMVs of two girls making poses and small talk, and you string together sentences without trying to sound like the weirdo you are. It's、uh, entertaining, and a step up from the live chats, I would say.
Unfortunately, however, the long sub-story slash minigame where you worked as a host at Adam has been removed. As I said, the fighting has been sped up a bit here compared to Yakuza 6, and it's great to have access to more heat moves again. It's also cool to be able to use weapons again, although I'm not a fan of how the game uses heat moves to destroy weapons. It's annoying when I had many uses left. And although you could do it in 6-2, only here did I find out just how fun it is to fight inside a convenience store. I know, I know, don't thank me. Just a cop, doing his job. The upgrade system is about the same as in Yakuza 6, which is a good thing. I'm just not a big fan of how you have to get and upgrade for the friend attacks now, instead of them just activating immediately. They're also slightly harder to pull off as they're not automatic, now you have to go near them and press triangle as it pops up. Sub stories aren't voice acted this time, unlike Yakuza 6, which will be a disappointment for some, but I for one don't mind at all. And like with Kiwami 1, they didn't do all sub-stories, more like a best of, and then added some new ones, which I'm fine with. As long as Be My Baby was left in, and it was. I thought, especially following the videos in Yakuza 0, that animating the videos in the video booth for this game would have been nice, but they kept it sound only. I could have done without the added masturbation-like reaction though. The graphics are just as good as Yakuza 6, and while the PS2 graphics will always be good enough for me and have a certain charm, I can't deny that these graphics are great. The only complaint would be how they seem to do a lot of the scenes in-game instead of rendered, so to speak. Which isn't bad, it just means that there's a lot of scenes where characters don't seem to animate as much as they could have. The music is an interesting case. I complained about some of the remixing done to Yakuza 1's music in Kiwami, here I can say that the music that they redid, they redid faithfully. For instance, Outlaw's Lullaby sounds almost exactly like before. However, a lot of songs, great ones from Yakuza 2, they just skipped altogether. Like North Menace or Blockhead Boy. Or if they didn't skip them, they changed them so much that I couldn't recognize a single note. I don't know which, to be honest. All in all, Yakuza 2 is a good remake. And after the story-wise, somewhat disappointing Yakuza 6, it was nice for me to be able to go out with the best storyline of the series. As for which Kiwami is the best, personally I think 2 is slightly better than 1. It might just be Kiryu's insane frown that held Kiwami 1 back from winning the remake battle. Now we look forward to Judge Eyes, that mobile game, and the new Yakuza.